Today, I'm taking you with me on a trip to Slovenian mountains. It's my first time abroad this year and I'm going to visit my mum who currently works on the farm there. So guys, I'm in Slovenia. I'm here for three weeks. I came to visit my mum. And yeah, I'm just planning to work from here and recharge and spend some time with yeah, with my mum and my friends. Where have you been, Achi? Where have you been? Achi, come. Achi, sit. Achi, sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I wish you could only smell the smell of the forest and the autumnal leaves. So nice. It's really, really lovely. I've been really enjoying going for walks on my own. Oh, I ate a bag oh. <laughs> on my own and with everyone on the farm, it's been really cool. But sometimes I just go for a short 20 minute walk here in the evening to look at the mountains. It's pretty, it's very, very spectacular here. Most, one of the most amazing views I've ever seen. There are loads of cute pets on the farm. A cat called Marlo, a dog Archie, and another four semi wild cats who, to be fair, get more and more friendly each year, and two of them have allowed me to stroke them. While I'm here, one of the nourishing and healing activities we do is forest bathing. There are so little forests in England, I feel a deep yearning to spend some time in the trees on a quiet walk, contemplating life without distractions. The term forest bathing emerged from Japan sometime in the 80s as a physiological and psychological exercise. There is a double purpose, to offer an antidote to technological burnt out and to inspire people to reconnect with the forest. It's a form of gentle therapy in a way. Most things are that involve being in nature in a mindful way. It's a practice that can be as simple as walking in a natural environment and consciously connecting with what's around you while being present to your thoughts and feelings. To be honest, you don't need to go into a forest to do this, but it seems like a great start for those of us who get very distracted and find it hard to sit still. Oh, 
Молодец. As tradition, I'm going for a walk with Milo the cat and Archie the dog. Who are both loving a little escape, little wonder. An afternoon one, little afternoon wonder before lunch. Milo! Hey Milo, come home, little tigre. Come home. Yeah, let's go. We're going. We're going. I was lucky to arrive towards the end of the mushroom season, something I wanted to experience for ages. I would love to know which mushrooms to pick, but without an experienced guide, I wouldn't even go there. I knew that the best way to remember is to film, so I've documented all I could and captured the knowledge that my mum has. We are on a hunt to pick some mushrooms, and it seems to be quite warm today. I think I'm, I think I'm overdressed. I'm gonna take this off. Или ройница по славянски, да? Вот. My mum knows all the spots, so she just literally goes from tree to tree because she knows exactly where the mushrooms are. Apparently, you just. Once you find them, you just go back every few days and keep peeking. Oh, paucak. What is this? The color. Mm hmm. Fourth. 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 I think the summer is back, which is great. My mum promised me to cook a mushroom soup, which I'm really excited about. It is the best meal. Today my mum and I are going um, mushroom picking again. We had a very successful session last time. So this time we're gonna go again um, and see what we can find. So last time we found three types of mushrooms, but we know that there are another three or four um, in the area. So hopefully this time we're gonna go and pick up some other ones to have for dinner. It's still really warm during the day and actually the nights are still quite warm as well. I think it's been about eight or nine degrees at night so far since I've been here. So the ticks are still alive and active. Um, so we need to be careful specifically wearing a um, tall socks, um, high socks to uh, try and keep them away. 
So first we're checking out all of the pine trees because the majority of the mushrooms we're looking for are going to be under or around them. It's been overcast all morning and now the sun is out the life just instantly gets even better There are loads of yellow leaves on the ground which is making it much harder to but the orange mushrooms. This field is done. I think we need to wait a few more days for them to come back. My mom seems to find all of them, if they're hidden below the grass, she still finds them. Смотри, это не мухомор? Нет. Похож на мухомор, да? Толстые ножки, ты права? I'm gonna be washing and boiling Excuse me I'm gonna be washing, cleaning the mushrooms and um, cooking them tonight so then we can freeze them or we can make a soup or anything we want to do but we have been picking every couple of days so I think these ones might be for freezing actually we've got lots of them saved up you filled up for the garden yeah So even though we found a huge amount of mushrooms and it looks, this is the biggest harvest we found, uh, we've had since I've been here anyway and um, yeah, I think we only took probably less than 5% of what we found because they were old. They were mostly old and going rotten and covered with other type of fungi. fungi. So unfortunately that's all we've managed to get from that mountain. When the harvest is big, and this one is so big, I think we picked 
something like 10 kilos of mushrooms. The best way to preserve mushrooms, according to my mum, is by washing, cutting and boiling them, and then freezing for later. After quite a few mushroom picking sessions, I feel confident enough to pick them on my own. It's probably too late for them in the UK, but I've got it all on video to refresh my memory for the next season. Thank you all so much for watching my mushroom picking adventures. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you're new here. Many thanks to our patrons for supporting these videos. If you would like to join our family, get a sticker of Alba and a handwritten note from us, join us on Patreon. Check out cruisingalba.com for our organic shop and sustainable t-shirts, hoodies and joggers. Sending you all our love, see you in the next one.